Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for coming. If you've been here, thank you for coming back. Um, please like, com please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And Sunday, had a pretty good weekend, worked the game. Go watch that video I um, posted, it was homecoming weekend. Go watch that if you haven't already, after this video. And yeah, so it's been pretty chill. Um, Sunday today I've really gotten to the work today. Um basically been doing that like I would do it, taking a nap <laughs> taking nap, so uh so it's been a pretty good day. Um just kinda getting myself rejuvenated. Um finally just having a day to myself. Um I finished all a lot of my work like um during the week. So yeah, it's been a pretty and just preparing myself and make rejuvenating and re get into the word to make to prepare me for going out into the sinful world um and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about and touch on today I felt was I'm sorry my hair like I said I did a new homework but um just ignore just ignore just ignore but um so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today is God prepares you God prepares you. Mm, let me words. No, I can't think. Give me a moment. I'm gonna think this through. Where God get me the words that can come out of my mouth so they can say what's on my heart and what you have planted in my heart. Amen. Can I get an amen from the church? <sighs> so last time I talked about being alone and how being alone is very much a gift and I kind of wanted to t um, talk about how you, you can be prepared going into God's journey that he has for you so that looks very I knew that was about to fall that's what I was looking at because I was like that looks like it's about to fall okay I think I fixed it but um and how that looks like and I'll talk about you know what my journey in it and things that I've seen from in the Bible and things like that of how to get prepared for that journey that God has for you and one of those things is being alone but I also think there's two things of being alone which is single not being with nobody which can be a form but of it but I think the main thing is you got to start over and when he talks to people throughout the Bible from Abraham and um, Paul, or Saul, and then he turned into Paul. And then David, of he talk, spoke to them, and then they had to go be alone before they can go and minister and um, do the assignment that God has planned for them. They have to go out there, he, they have to go and be alone. And the reason people have to be alone is because you have to be so solely on that relationship with God and of a lot of times when we talk about today is you have your friends that you have and you have um that relationship that you're in you have the people you are around and of a lot of times when you go out into this world um not really having that relationship with God people will take advantage of that and take advantage of you and we're so much want to just please everybody and then we get to a point where we don't even think about ourselves first anymore and i think also that's what happened to me is i was so wanting to please everybody that i was like when i was alone it was like i don't even know what i want out of life and i think that's something very much talk about because if you don't know what you want how can the world can you perform kit on um, good helpful healthy relationships and you don't even and with other people if you don't even know what you want yourself so some and god is going to cut you in that place you probably don't even want him to touch and that how can you be fully fully hearted towards god if you have a relationship friendship that you're like he can come in my life but he cannot touch this unless he touches it the way i want him to touch it and i think that's what god's going to touch and take away because now it's like you have to rebuild everything because if you have parts in your life that you want god to touch in a specific way and all this that's usually what he's going to take away or even try to take away sometimes you will seek it out but he's trying to say you know what these friends need to be taken away and it is um 
through psychology. I'm in this trauma class. And in this trauma class, people will stay in something that's a constant trauma in their life because they want that constant trauma over um, the unknown of, and religious, um, religious wise, being a Christian, of the unknown of what God has in front of them. They would rather stick with the consistency of trauma. And that can be a form of in college. You're good with your friends Thursday. Y'all go out Friday, Saturday, drama happens. There's this whole thing of gossip, mean words are said. Your friends are feel like you're abandoning them. There's so much drama, you're crying. Um, come Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then all of a sudden you're good Wednesday and it's that thing over and over. Or maybe it's in a relationship and it's that trauma over and over of you get good, then you get bad, and then you're back to good, then you're back to, and you're, there's no peace in that. But people would rather have that trauma of knowing that constant of knowing that there is that trauma than the fear of the unknown on the other side. That's why so many people that are, that's why kids who are getting abused, they don't really say anything because they would rather have that known abuse that they're going to have than go and live and not know what's to come if they're out of that. And in abusive relationships and um, all this stuff, they would much rather have that because you just want what consist those consistency of what you know rather than the unknown but god is gonna um cut there and say you know what I, there's no peace here i'm not even in this and i'm gonna take you away because a lot of times when that trauma stuff happens we want god to say fix it but fix it like this just make us both so holy with each other but if you don't know yourself then how is he going to make something work that you don't even know yourself to grow and be able to maybe handle that relationship or handle those friendships at that moment? So it's like, cut it out, take it away, and maybe a year or two, things will roll back around because I promise you, once you do good and start doing good for yourself and be confident in yourself and what you want out of life, the right people will come along. And God will put that on your track. But he has to develop your character. He has to develop your character to be ready for the assignments and the people that he has for you in the future. And God's not going to just say, all right, the next day, you are now a leader. These people will come. You know, that's not, he's going to develop your character. That's why these people have to go and be alone when he works with people in the Bible. They have to go and be alone and develop that relationship with God so they're able to handle the assignments that he's given them of maybe being that leader of a group or being around these people. And they will come along when they see you doing good, but you have to be alone to work in that. And he's gonna cut you in a place where you're like, that cannot be touched because that's the exact place he needs to touch because that may be the thing that's holding you back from going and doing what God has planned for you. God has a place that he wants you to go. When he talks to Abraham and Saul and all these people from the Bible, he says, go to the place I will show you. He does not tell them, he does not give them any details. He just says, go, go. And, you know, they do these walks, you know, hundreds and hundreds of walks to get to these places. So they have time, but they're alone and they even have to go somewhere to alone and then travel to the place where God wants them. So God has a place for you and he's waiting for you. He's going to walk with you, but sometimes you just have to do that walk with God on your own and he will bring the people and yeah it is starting over and you have to get rid of but even everything even some people that you don't really have a problem with this says i just need to be alone i need to get to know god and then he will develop me and develop my character into the person into the assignment he has for me and just keep your eye on that of where god is taking you god has a place he's taking you just keep your eyes on that and when you really develop that relationship with God, the drama, the gossip, the trauma, all this stuff will be like, I don't have time for it. I got to get to where God has a plan for me. And a God, I got to get a place that's flowing with honey. I got to get to this place that is so unexpected and marvelous and divine. And, divine, and it's going to be the place I need to go. And I always think about it, you know, with these you can't really think of it from a human perspective. You have to think of it from a God perspective because human perspective is just based on society and what they say 
you um society and what they say is right which is based on the sins of the world and not based on what god has said for people so go and be alone you have to just start over say everything is blocked out the only person i'm relying on right now is god and he is going to help me get through this and yeah sometimes you have to tear down the whole house but sometimes when you're building a house with other people and that trauma and that constant of the friends and relationships and all this stuff they're building a house on hay and they blow it down when they feel it's time to blow it down and then they'll say okay let's come build it back up and then they'll blow you back down it's like you're stuck in this constant cycle but when you build it back up with god you're putting bricks and bricks where nothing can blow it down because you're such into that relationship with god so go out go and be alone and day by day by day by day you will get built up into what you need to get built up to and then god has a place that he has in store for you he has a place where he said your character your background your traits what you've been through has all prepared you for this moment that i have planned for you and during that time because i feel like we're such a society in a way of life right now because just the way this um generation is working everything so snap of a finger fast um the way we travel the way we use internet it's so like it has to be done right then and there and god he actually works in a way of we're gonna grow this relationship with me he's gonna he's basically teaching you how to walk again um in the sense of instead of walking with these he, um, the sins of the world we're going to walk with him and he's going to teach me how to walk in such a way of faith that and you're going to have to even even in my journey I had great loved ones in the family that were very much there for me when I needed them but when I do my walk with God it had to be completely me and him where I would go to the Bible and read for because everybody wants um, validation a cheering squad and stuff like that and everybody wants but sometimes even that's why i say sometimes even not the loved ones not pushed away but to the side so you can be solely focused on god because there were because he he loves you he wants the best for you he wants he wants to give you um his spirit and give you and so he's gonna so it's gonna go to the bible for even those validations of okay he's there for me i'm with him i'm with him because when you even loving somebody and wanting to show up and be there to save them that is not our place of humans to go and save another individual it actually is better to let that person do that walk on their own and just know that you're there for them but do that walk on their own because you want people to do it for real because people will and it even shows in the bible how saul will come and kill these christians people walk miles and anything to come and still kill and destroy you the devil will show up in an angel form to come and kill and destroy you so you got to make sure that you are so good with god that you're able to detect any and all things around you and be able to handle those in a proper way you need to do that in the dark and in the light so really do that walk with god in a sense of being alone because that's the way you will fully know to rely and be with god what was i saying before that walk alone with god oh this thing is falling in okay i fixed it again and then when you walk with your journey on god we're so oh yeah that's what we're such a character of want we want this 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 after that but the, really the way god works is he will give us these little assignments because if we're not able to follow these little assignments why in the world is god going to tell you to go leave a, um lead these group of people to to me and lead these group of people into christianity and have a relationship with me you need to build on yourself you can't just think okay the next day I said, I, cause I, I'm reading the Bible. I read the Bible. I did a devotion. Now the next day, 
God, why is all these people not just, I told, I told them this and now they're not just all following me and doing this relationship with God. Uh, I thought I fixed it. I led all these people. Why are they, I read the Bible. I did all this. Why are people not coming and being in this relationship with me? Because, let me lift this up a little bit. Because the eye is not just going to turn from, especially because when you're in this sick and consistent trauma in your life, your brain, and I know this from past experience for me, is like, Monday is like this, Tuesday like this, because your relationship is not fully with God, because your mind is being changed and going through a world of tornadoes because of all the consistent things you're in. You got to get in a place where you're not relying on anything else. Your brain's like, okay, I have nothing else to rely on. Nothing else is affecting my brain. I know that's a weird thing because like you just want it to not necessarily affect your brain, but you're used to that way. So it's not like, okay, now what? I don't even know what I want. And it's hard to think of yourself first when you have never done it before. I don't know what I want in the life. Read, grow on yourself, and then you can go out and have these relationships. And it will start off small, and then you can go out once you feel comfortable, go out to the church. See where your relationships are within the church and see different things and grow. And God, one day after another, want this small thing may come up. And then, okay, Jesus, this is where I'll be. And it, it'll grow into growing. It'll grow into something you could never even imagine for yourself but it's so great when he develops your character and he'll give you these little assignments that'll grow into bigger ones once you follow those little ones but he will build you but you have to take the time to do it which i think it's hard especially in the um, society because we're so fast we just want it like that but we will grow into these assignments and even when you do these assignments they may not be what you pictured for yourself but once you grow because what you picture for yourself is what everybody else does. Everybody else in my age, you know, everybody else in my age, especially in the South, getting engaged and married and all this stuff. And then you're also fooled by um, social media. Like everybody has these friends. Uh, look at this person. They're married. They have kids. They have this beautiful family. And I'm just sitting over here by myself like a bump on the log. It even, Saul even says it's even better to be by yourself. Because you're able to have a, such a more closer and intimate relationship with God because it's much it's a hard thing to grow with somebody and grow with somebody else of God. It's a very, so enjoy that time by yourself, which is what I talked about in one of my other videos if you want to go watch that after. But, what was I saying? <laughs> I didn't get my mind right. I think it's genetics though, because everybody in my family does this. <sighs> Uh, society says where you need to be in life, but no, God has you right where he wants you in this time of your life and appreciate that. Say, God, yes, thank you for this time of my life because nobody else can do what you're doing of the gift and traits and character and backgrounds that God has given you. Enjoy that. And that is where he will push you into that destination. And don't think, oh, I can't take that. My, nobody else in my friend group has it. Nobody else in this society. Nobody else going through that. Why do I have to go through that? What do you think Mary, Jesus' um, earthly mom, you think anybody else in that society was getting pregnant by Jesus? You think anybody else was getting pregnant that was a virgin? What if she's like, oh, no, no, sorry, God, I can't be taking this. Do you see anybody else in this world going through this? I can't be doing this. And I don't, and then, you know, then she's pregnant and her and Joseph are trying to find somewhere to stay. I don't even, Jesus, I don't even, God, I don't even have a house. I don't even have nowhere to birth. I'm going to birth in a box. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, sorry you see anybody else doing that nobody else is doing that so i cannot be doing that that cannot be my plan sorry nobody else no and think if what if mary never said like oh i'm not giving birth to that that ain't happening what if mary said that no nope, nobody else is doing that what if mary said that and didn't want that plan for her and she just said no i'm not going to adjust my life to that plan that you have for me lord we would have never had jesus and where would we have been then if God, if Mary didn't take that? Mary and Joseph did not take that in. And take said, okay, I'm going to adjust my life to this, Lord. This is the plan you have for me. Do you really think she wanted to be a virgin and pregnant? Do you really think she wanted to give birth in a barn? 
but she did it because that's what Jesus' plan was for. That's what God's plan was for her. And then she took that in and then now, thank you, Lord, that Jesus came on and died for our sins so we can be saved. So just your plan is what God has for you. Be alone. That's what Saul, when he turned into Paul, he had to go and be alone. And he did some of the best ministry in the, uh, ever and wrote most of the New Testament. Because they had to go be alone and now they built on the God's plan that they have for them. And they built and built and built. So God is God is building you in this time of getting to the place that is flowing with honey. And be excited in that. Just be alone in God and God will build you into the plan that he has for you. Read the Bible, prayer, devotion, meditation, all these things. So you can be at one with God. And then when you leave this earth, when you leave your room and leave this house, even now we have phones. So it also comes to us of the world. But get to know yourself with God. And that way you be able to handle the world. Because that is a fool of a person to think that they can go out and leave this world without any um. Holy Spirit and presence of the Lord to think they're going to go and handle this world just the way they need to handle it. Be alone with God. Develop yourself through Him. Know what you want. Know what you... Because if you don't know what you want, how are you going to go out here and develop relationships with other people and think it's going to be built on something good if you don't even know what you want or what you stand for or what your boundaries are or what you want or what you want to build off of? How are you going to build a relationship with somebody else? So just start over. I know it can be hard, but that's probably exactly what God wants you to do is start over if your relationships and the life around you is out of control, trauma, no peace. Um, it affects your relationship with God. Where it just, and a affects your relationship with God does not mean, and sometimes it can, uh, I don't know if God's real, but it can also affect your relationship with God if your side of it is always so inconsistent with your prayers and things like that of how you read the Bible because you can't come to the Bible with one situation because that situation is so hard on you you can't come you have to come to the Bible and prayer with an open of okay God what do you have for me today what can I do to grow your kingdom God what do you have to do to develop my character to grow and be close, closer to you Lord and so God fix the situation and then he may do something it's like oh, God that's not what no 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 God or, or, you know, God, please just help it. I know it's, or please just help the situation. He needs to be better. These friends need to be nicer to me. All these things. Just say, no, I got to be alone. Because this isn't what God needs for me. If it's affecting how I'm reading my Bible, it's affecting my prayer. I need to go and be alone. Because obviously, something ain't right up here. So I need to be alone with God. And that usually can happen multiple times in a lifetime. Or all our... Even throughout, that's what I had to do today. And I don't feel any trauma or anything crazy going on. It's just I got to re, re have a day of, okay, God, let me get re get into you. You know, let me get fully devoted into you. Please grow me, God. It's something that everybody has to do and you have to do it alone. And then God will develop you into the characters and places that you need to go so you can get to the place that's flowing with honey that God has assigned you for. And he will grow you. You have to get out of the safety if you want to grow your relationship with God. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it really helped. And keep, keep growing in God. And we can get good into a place where it is getting better for everybody. And everybody's journey is going to be so great, I hope. And he loves you. He wants a relationship with you. And he's going to meet you where you are. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.